In life, we have many emotions. There are many variations. I will attempt to explain these as it relates to our primary emotions and try to paint a picture of how these emotions apply to my life. Plitchik in 1980 says, we often use different words to describe the emotions, such as surprise, joy, disgust, anger, fear, and sadness, when in fact we are experiencing a more intense version of the primary emotion. Those heightened versions are amazement, ecstasy, loathing, rage, terror, and grief. Reflect and relate an introduction to interpersonal communication highlights these examples by Pluchek. In the examples I will give, you may be able to see the differences in these emotions from primary to its high intensity counterpart. One of the emotions of surprise, I have a story, is finding out that that we're going to be a father to a baby boy, and on the birthday you find out that you have been handed a baby girl. So the counter would be amazement at the realization of this event that I thought I was having a boy and I'm actually having a girl. And yep, that's my baby girl. Joy uh, is a very broad emotion. It involves other feelings along with its counterpart as well, ecstasy. It also involves feelings of happiness, gladness, and those feelings can come from family and friends and even strangers. I have a few moments that refer to this exact emotion in the picture you see. Disgust at its heightened counterpart, loathing, are emotions no one should have to feel. But they are in our DNA as humans, and they are a few things that I definitely am disgusted with. And yes, loathe. Being a Green Bay Packer fan, you can see my angst in these few pictures. Anger and rage seem to be close to the latter, but they are still animals of their own. I can tell you that I have been angry before, but I have never had rage as the motion and hope to never have. Nobody has ever caught a picture of my angry face, but that's okay, it's probably not pretty anyway. I do ever, however, have some other pics to look at that portray anger and rage. Yikes. Fear and terror are subjective terms. I feel fear when that sudden drop off of a roller coaster or a person's hiding around the corner and jumps out and scares you. That, that to me is fear. I don't know that I have ever felt terror, real terror anyway. I have had the you know what scared out of me before, but terror probably not. There's a few faces of fear that I'll show you. Sadness and grief are definitely something I've experienced. A breakup of a, of, of a couple or your family moving away, you may have experienced sadness for those two events. A message that a loved one has been in an accident or has passed away good example of its high counterpart grief. I and probably all of us have experienced grief in some form or fashion. Sadness and grief are clear to read on someone's face. It's a great example of nonverbal communication. That's a whole nother subject. In conclusion, I would just like to say that no matter the emotion, we all feel them in their simplest form or the heightened counterpart. But one thing remains that they are never ending and we will always feel something. Thank you for your time.